Hey Piston Slap channel fans, people of my channel. Hey, uh, so we're back out on the dirt. We're uh, Boise, Idaho, Eagle, Idaho. That's where the pavement ends on Eagle and turns to dirt. Uh, you guys might remember this. Uh, I came up here, uh, I think the video was titled Pearl, Idaho. I'll throw a card right here for you guys if you want to watch that video where me and Racer Red kind of tool away up here. Um, I'm not going to shoot too much of this. I'll film it just in case something exciting happens or I got something good to talk about. But uh, I've got something in store for you guys, so stay tuned. <laughs> segment <laughs> I know it always seems like minutes but uh, behind me is Horseshoe Bay and I know we're back on pavement again and we're heading over to Idaho City I am doing the solo so I don't want to be easy I don't want to be doing anything crazy I guess it gives me a little bit of time while you guys take in the sights and see where we're at here uh, I don't I can't recall the forest service route I'll throw it up here in the editing uh, once I figure out what it is. Take a second and uh, review my uh, new camera mount here. Uh, some of the things I like about it, some of the things I don't like about it. So far, there's nothing that I don't like about it except one thing. The camera housing mounts to the camera mount. I've got it as tight as I can physically tighten it and it's like you just bump it and it, the camera's loose like riding on marbles guys if you're wondering why I'm going so slow so this is a 40 something mile dirt road that just kind of winds through the back country of Idaho just north of Boise from Horseshoe Bend to Idaho City and there's a few little places in between called like Placerville or Placerville or I don't know how to say it I'm not I'm not from Idaho so I think it's Placerville. There's Centerville and it's all sorts of weird stuff out here. So I guess something I could talk to you guys about. Maybe some of you adventure guys would know. How do you feel about riding solo this far out and away from, I mean, it doesn't seem like I'm that far away. I don't know any of these people and we literally are out in the middle of nowhere where people will wave at you. Now, along with riding solo, here's my thoughts on it. One, I don't like it because, you know, you get a flat tire, chain snaps, anything could happen, mechanically-wise, or even physically-wise. You go mentally insane out here because you didn't have water to drink or something silly. Or, you know, you're coming around this corner and a rogue vehicle gets you. Or you slip off the road and run into the little creek over here. So, I mean, there are a few things that could happen. So, that's the thing I don't like about riding solo. Some of the things I do like about riding solo, I could set my own pace. That's why a lot of times I don't ride with my friends off-road, is because I don't know. They say I'm fa I ride fast, but I don't. I don't feel that I ride fast. Cause I, I mean, I could ride faster, but I don't believe that I'm skilled enough to actually physically do it and still be under control. Lonely Stewart. I know you're up here somewhere. It's the dogs. Hide your kids. Hide your wife. These hooligans are in here. I don't know, maybe it's a, not only am I not skilled enough to ride fast guys, but maybe it's more of a respect thing as well. But if you're out here living, um, that, well, if 
you're out here driving on the road. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the hobo tent. If you're out here driving, I want to be courteous to you as you share this road with me. I feel like I'm riding on ice. The bike's just all over the place. Check this out. Oh, apparently, guys, I've passed away. Take a moment. Oh, Robert. I don't know what happened, man. Or Roberta. Whatever. Rest in peace, buddy. Hopefully you were doing something fun. like a homemade dam. It's Arrowhead Mountain Spring Water. Guys, it's like uh, really nothing to say. I just take you to the holy and uh... <clears throat> all right, guys. I need a bikey. I haven't pulled over to do a bikey yet. If you noticed, I got some new stickers on it. There's like five horsepower, some Red Zilla, so there's another five and one on that side. I do have an issue though guys, and maybe you might know this if you're uh, so IMS fuel tank, so Maxima Racing stickers. But look at my Everide stickers, they're all and I cleaned the tank and everything before I put it on, I just noticed they started bubbling. It's weird. So I mean I got one down there on the swing arm too, and it's the same on both sides. <laughs> nothing. Nothing too exciting. It's beautiful up here too, man. Excuse me, sir. Can you tell me where the nearest gas station is? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, front a little bit of. Don't take advice from me on how to stop in the dirt. I don't, I don't know. Is it rear brake? Is it front brake? Is it rear end front? It's a combination. You guys would know better than I if you are out and been riding longer. Especially on this crap. Shortcut, shortcut. A scenery change, guys. On that note, how do you guys like that? Do you guys like desert? Do you guys like mountains? I mean, is there is there something specific when you're looking on YouTube for motovloggers or people that just shoot video or when you're out looking for riding videos? Do you prefer to see the desert? Do you prefer to see, um, do you prefer to see mountain scenery? I'm just curious, because I think Idaho has just about all of it. We got sand dunes, we got desert, we got mountains. I don't think we have swamp. We don't have any swamp. I don't think we do. I haven't found any yet. Oh, look, pavement. We're out in the middle of nowhere.
there you go, there's our swamp. This is really weird to me that we're out in the middle of nowhere and there's pavement. This is one of those weird little towns I told you guys about. Can you see it? <laughs> uh, we should be coming to main, the main part of the town here pretty soon, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I know, City Centerville and Placerville to the right. Somebody got some fresh pavement. Dragon knee. City. Grimes Creek. That's where we go. Excuse me. change the last 10 15 miles dirt road had become dead battery or whatever hadn't become anything it was just dead battery so you missed it nothing exciting except for there was a street bike back there on the dirt which is guy needs to get himself an adventure bike But now we're going to get on the highway, Highway 21, and head back to Boise. And then from Boise, clear out to Cuna. I'm sure there's a dirt trail back there, but 
I'd best be getting home and I get lost on trails and stuff. So, thanks again for uh, tuning into the Piston Slap channel. I'm Robert, I've been your host this entire time. Ride safe, take care. Oh, cut it. Fritz, I know your sneaky little location. What is this? What is this? Private property. No trespassing members only. <laughs> what member and what organization do you belong to? Bye.